What's up guys, KSK here. Welcome back to another video. And this is it, the stable pixel experience based on Android 10 is now available for Poco F1. The brand new update focuses on stability, performance and better battery life. I'm gonna talk about a few changes in this new update of Pixel ROM for Pocophone F1. Before starting this video, if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, just gonna go ahead, subscribe to my channel right now and consider clicking the bell button to get notified whenever I post a new video. Let's get started. Now, if you wanna see an in-depth review of Pixel Experience, I will leave a link in the description box down below. Just gonna go ahead and watch that video and find out everything about pixel rom now let me go ahead and show you the version which i am running on my device which is the pocophone f1 and as you can see uh, right now this update comes with the latest android security patch level of this month which is february and it's based on the brand new kernel the all new kernel has optimized for android 10 to achieve high performance without compromising battery life now this update brings some major improvements to the board. It now feels super stable. Compared to the previous build of Pixel Experience, this update requires MIUI 11.0.4 firmware, which means if you are planning to upgrade the existing Pixel Experience, which you are running right now on your device, you must need to update your device to the latest vendor and firmware of 11.0.4, and then you can flash the latest Pixel Experience. Unlike updating through OTA, you must download and install the latest Pixel experience through the manual installation process. Anyway, I will leave a detailed instructions down below. Just gonna go ahead, check the description box down below, read it carefully, and update to the latest build of Pixel experience. Also, if you're completely new to flashing ROM on your device, I made a separate video on the topic. Just gonna go ahead, check the link for that in the description box down below. Now when it comes to changes, uh, this update uh, brings support for a video over LTE as well as a voice over Wi-Fi for many carriers across the world. Also for those who are facing any network difficulties, this update will resolve all of those issues. Also, the all-new stable Pixel experience qualifies the safety net check test without the need for any root. And as you can see, I haven't rooted my phone or installed any Magisk Manager. For those who are unaware of safety net check test, it's an API that gives an information about the device, how secure the phone is. This way, third-party developers like Netflix, Amazon Prime will let their applications run on a device that has passed safety net check test. Also, Banking applications are another example. Google Pay, Phone Pay, UPI applications, Paytm works without any issues. Now when it comes to camera, goodbye to greedy stock camera. This update comes preloaded with a stable Gcam 6.2. Still not the latest Gcam 7 which is sort of bummer, but compared to normal camera, Gcam 6.2 is way better than that. The all new camera can capture photos, videos, portraits, slow motion video without any issues. I have noticed there is a one feature called lens blur. Whenever if you try to use this feature, the camera application will crash unexpectedly. Except that I haven't faced any problem with the default camera application on this update. Now it's time to talk about the performance. This update uses the latest drivers from MIUI 11.0.4, which indeed helps to achieve stable performance. So far using it for two days, I haven't faced any stutters or lag throughout the system UI. The animations and transitions are buttery smooth and a lot quicker now. Also, system navigation gestures are more fluid than before. It feels much natural, which gives the satisfaction of Android 10. Now, when it comes to gaming, as usual, I have played PUBG at HDR mode. I have noticed a minor lag at the initial gameplay, but after that, the gameplay was very smooth and no major lag or frame drops were encountered. Overall, I would say performance has definitely improved in this new update. 
Now speaking about battery life, thanks to the stability of this ROM, along with performance, the battery life has improved. I do get 6 plus hours of screen on time with standard usage like watching Netflix movies and listening to music. I haven't encountered any serious battery draining issues in this build. The developers of this ROM has optimized a lot to achieve a great battery life. That's pretty much it. This is the quick update of stable pixel experience based on Android 10 for Poco F1. Let me know what you think about this update. Should you install it? Comment down below. Anyway, if this video helped you, hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel and click on bell button to get notified whenever I post a new video. So thanks for watching. This has been KSK Royal and I'll catch you in my next one. Peace. I can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right